Thursday Blues Club. Toby, hi Stan. Hi to Trixie and Steve. Peter in Italy. Hi to Richard. Helene, Axel, Graham. Rosemary, John. Hi to Graham, did I say that? to Robert and Graham and Malcolm and Dave and John Sims Dave Ash, John Monk, Craig and Danny, First time here, oh that's great. Well you're welcome. See see right up. You've been so long. See see right up. Where you've been so long. so long I ain't had no loving baby since you've been gone
Well, I'm going away, baby. Won't be back till phone. Well, if I find me a good girl, you know I won't be back alone. Ha! Hi to Michael, Michael Lane. Uh, Toby, hello Toby. Um, thanks as ever to Toby for um, promoting these live streams. That's why I get a, a bunch, nice bunch of people, lovely bunch of people from uh, from America listening in most weeks. And I've got a few tonight. Um, so, hello. Yep, another week's gone. Toby, I'm going to do one for you a bit later. You asked me, and I never did it at the time, you asked me to do Take Me to the River. There's a reason why I, I should thought I should work that one out this week, which I've done. Um, we'll come to that. Okay. So thanks for tuning in. I hope, you, I hope you're all well. Oh, Paul would like me to do Dust My Broom. <laughs> well, uh, okay. Maybe I'll have to do Dust My Broom. <laughs> okay. Uh, that wasn't the intention. But, you know, I'm a sucker, aren't I? People ask for requests and I, I like to oblige. Um, that's my broom by the great Elmore James. John, John Monk. Hello, John. Um, what do you mean, Warren Spector Primark? Anyway. Hi to Kathy in Los Angeles. Yeah, it's great when you tell when you tell me where, where you're tuning in from. Anyway, as requested by Paul. Hi Ted. Hi to Dave Mason. You want a bit of harmonica? Here we go. Get up in the morning, believe I'll dust my broom. I quit the best girl I've been loving. Now my friends can have my room. Oh, hi to Dave Silk. I don't want no woman, want every downtown man she meets. Every 
downtown when she meets <laughs> oh, it's a Martin Taylor break. She's a no good little darling, they shouldn't allow her on the streets. Tommy Blown Well I believe Leave my time ain't long I gotta leave my baby And break up my happy home for Paul and anyone else who wanted it so please don't blame me if you think I play that too often um, you may say you can't play dust my broom too often but there we are um, what do I want to do now I should do a ballad shouldn't I so this is one by um, uh, John Jim Jim <laughs> Jim Crawford from down in Devon wrote this lovely song uh, which has been recorded by um, Beth Rowley and one or two others, maybe. So let's have a go at this, When the Rains Came. Mm -hmm. 
When the rains came, I looked to heaven. When they washed away my dreams, I cried all night in my heart. I knew you'd be there, cause I felt the love, then I saw the light. I felt the love, and then I saw the light. Through the hard times, through the sorrow, you always came to me to put things right. Now I don't worry about tomorrow Cause I felt the love Then I saw the light I felt the love Then I saw the light From the darkness, there comes a dawning When the sun's up in the blue and shining bright I'll be dreaming about that morning Cause I felt the love, then I saw the light I felt the love and I saw the light I felt the love Then I saw the light When the Rains Came A song by um, Jim Crawford If you ever get a chance to see Jim Crawford and that's not very often. He doesn't. He doesn't do that many gigs these days. I don't think. But anyway, if you ever get a chance to see Jim Crawford, take it because uh, he's playing in Ramsgate. And he'll be near Ramsgate quite soon, I think. Um, yeah, Jim Crawford, lovely, uh, sensitive singer, songwriter, guitarist. And um, somebody asked me to do Midnight Special. Who was that? Peter. Peter Findlay. I think you're here, aren't you, Peter? Um, asked me to do Midnight Special, uh, so I'm going to see if I can do that. Uh, Lead Belly, um, I do the occasional Lead Belly song, and this is one of them. <clears throat> this became a big sort of folk and skiffle hit, didn't it? Uh, Midnight Special, Donnie Donegan and all those kind of people. And I don't think what sort of um, tempo on for this. Get up in the morning when the big bell rings. March out to the table. You see the same damn them knife and fork are on the table, but there's nothing in the pan. 
And if you say anything about it, you're in trouble with the man at the midnight special. Shine his light on me. Let the midnight special shine his ever loving light on me. Let the midnight special shine his light on me. Let the midnight special shine his ever loving light on me. Yonder come Miss Rosie. Well, how in the world do you know? Well, I know by the apron and the dress that she wore, an umbrella on her shoulder, a piece of paper in her hand. She's gonna ask the governor to turn loose her man. Let the midnight special shine its light on. Gold to Houston. How you say that? You better walk right. Well, you better not gamble. You better not fight. The sheriff will arrest you. And the boys will take you down. You can bet your bottom dollar. Your penitentiary bound. Let the midnight special shine his light on me. The midnight special Shine his ever loving light on me Let the midnight special Shine his light on me Midnight special, shine his light on me. Let the midnight special shine his ever loving light on me. Let the midnight special. Let the midnight special shine his ever loving light on me. Let the midnight special. Shine a seven loving light on me. Let the midnight. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, yeah, midnight special. That was for Peter. Uh, thank you. <laughs> um, I did say, didn't I? Toby, I was going to finally do Take Me to the River because you asked for this some time ago. A uh, lovely song, Take Me to the River. But what's prompted me to do it this week is the, um, uh, well, it's, it's a sad thing. The, the, the death within a week of the, of the brothers Johnson. And, and again, Toby, I, I'm talking to you, Toby, because I know that you used to um, help promote um, Jimmy Johnson's live streams. Uh, Jimmy, Jimmy died uh, a couple of weeks ago and, um, and Sill, Sil Johnson, his brother, died uh, seven days, I think it was, six or seven days later. They died within a week of each other. Um, now, Jimmy Johnson was, um, uh, he was 93, and right up until the end, he was doing live streams. <laughs> it was great. And he was quite a figure in Chicago blues. Um, never a big star, but, you know, quite a stalwart. Uh, played guitar, sang, and um, played keyboard. And then his brother, Sil, um, who, who, as I say, died... died um, within a week, um, his Sil Johnson, well, both of them were sort of crossed that blues and soul area, but particularly Sil, who, who had, you, you may remember some of his hits, um, Different Strokes was, was famously the, um, uh, the record that was sampled so often on hip hop records. That may, <laughs> so that was quite an interesting one, Different Strokes. Uh, is it because in 1969, I think it was, he did, um, made a few waves with a song called uh, Is It Because I'm Black, which was a, a great doomy song. 
and um, and he did the first. The reason I'm talking about Sil Johnson and Jimmy is because Sil Johnson actually got the first single out of Take Me to the River. Um, it's written by um, Al Green and, and um, Teeny Hodges, Al Green's guitar, or one of the guitarists who played with Al Green. It was written by Al Green, but Al Green actually gave it to, to Sil Johnson, and Sil Johnson's version is much the same musicians, because they were both on, on high records um, with Willie Mitchell. Um, and um, there we are, Take Me to the River. So people, sort of over the years, I think, it got overshadowed by the fact that um, eventually... Uh, Al Green's version to Take Me to River, of course, became the definitive one. However, um, what am I saying? Yeah, Sil Green did the first single version of Take Me to the River. Very much at, um, with, well, not just Al Green's blessing, it was Al Green's request, it was his idea. And then Sil's, Sil's version is, I'd say, a bit funkier than um, Al Green's, but they're both great. So anyway, <laughs> I'm going to try and do Take Me to the River. Uh, I don't think, John, I don't think they were the Brothers Johnson. No, they weren't. They did make an album together, Syl and uh, Jimmy Johnson, just to confuse you, but they weren't called the Brothers Johnson. Check them out. I mean, it's, you know, they, they, had, they had pretty long and um, interesting careers, both of them. Um, anyway, Syl Johnson sang Take Me to the River. I've got to remember how it goes. I don't know why I love you like I do After all the changes that you put me through You stole my money and my cigarettes I haven't seen hide nor hair of you yet I wanna know, won't you tell me Am I in love to stay? Take me to the river Wash me down I'm just getting myself into this I don't know why I love you like I do After all the changes that you put me through You stole my money and my cigarettes I haven't seen hide nor hair of you yet I wanna know, just tell me Am I in love to stay? Please 
squeeze me, please me and squeeze me till I can. Take no more. Hide no hair of you yet. Take me to the river. Take me to the river. Wash me down Won't you take me to the river Put my feet on the ground You know an apology is coming, don't you? Um, take me to the river. Um, yeah, it's a great song. The timing in it is tricky. <laughs> it's tricky to sing over some of the phrases you've got to play. And um, I only gave you half the words. However, that was a sort of version of uh, Take Me to the River. There's always a first time. Uh, next time I, I might do it more proficiently. We shall see. Uh, <laughs> anyway... Uh, I'm going to try and... I, I know what I'll do. It's something that, I, that I've only played once on a live stream, I think. And it's a thing called... Um, I'm, going to get into, I'm going to get into some old Mississippi-type guitar blues now for the, for the next half hour or so. So that's not your bag. If, uh, if old school Delta blues isn't your bag, then um, go and have a cup of tea or sandwich. Anyway, here we are. Uh, so I've got to retune them quickly for this, which is... A song, a strange, a strange song, strange tune. I'm going to do it as a tune rather than sing it. Um, uh, and somebody last week, oh come on, I'm I'm my terrible with names. Somebody last week said I should, I should uh, give more credit to some of the female blues artists, and I agree with that. Um, the number I started off with, by the way, was uh, my version of C.C. Ryder, uh, which was a Ma Rainey song originally. So that was Ma Rainey. Uh, this one is uh, by um, a great, uh, a little, little known. Um, when I say little known, I mean little is known about her. Geechee, what's her surname? Geechee Wiley. Geechee Wiley did this uh, thing called "Kind Words," last kind words. So there we are. I'm going to try this one, and after this, I'm going to get get deep into um, a certain um, Delta Blues player. You'll have to wait and see for that. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I have to think about it. So yeah, the guitar is tuned um, to a minor chord, unusually for me. Rosemary, it was you who said I should do more on female blues artists. I will one day, I go. But this one is Geechee, Geechee Wiley. She was a wonderful guitar player. Okay, that was, um, I'm laughing at Glenn Vesey's comment about um, Janis Joplin being little and known. Anyway, um, that was uh, Geechee Wiley's um, last kind words. And um, I'm going to change guitar and I'm going to now go into a, a slightly nerdy section if you'll allow me to do this. I was... Um, Set off the. Uh, you can you can find so much stuff obviously online these days that uh, it makes it makes uh, researching songs, going back to old songs, checking out artists out makes it so much easier. And I, and I realised that um, this this was prompted by um, Ben Tyzak. He did a little thing online. Um, it wasn't a live stream. It was a recorded thing, but a lovely lovely little session. And he did um, Mississippi Blues. <laughs> Now, well, you set me thinking, why have I never tried to play that song? 
and how did Willie Brown play it? And it set me looking at Willie Brown. Now, Willie Brown, at, who did um, Mississippi Blues, was not the Willie Brown who'd um, played with Sunhouse and made Future Blues, which some of you may know. Uh, Future Blues, that one. That's the one that goes... That sort of thing. Anyway, Future Blues was, was another Willie Brown. But the funny thing is that um, Alan Lomax, the great... Um, blues sort of researcher and field recordist. Alan Lomax went round recording some of the old country guys. And um, what am I saying? Alan Lomax seemed to think that they were indeed the same person, the two Willie Browns that he recorded on different occasions. <laughs> so for years, I think people thought that, you know, yeah, okay. Um, it was not the case. The, the Willie Brown, who in 1942 recorded Chicago, uh, Mississippi Blues, I'll get there, Mississippi Blues, was not the same Willie Brown who earlier had done those recordings with Sunhouse and was a mate of Robert Johnson to the extent that Robert Johnson sings about him. You can run, you can run, tell my friend Paul Willie Brown. Anyway, this is the... Later, not you know, the, he was recorded a bit later. William Brown, uh, and he did this thing called Mississippi Blues, which um, a lot of guitarists, I believe, over the years have tried because um, the wonderful Stefan Grossman um, uh, did a did a version of it on one of his tutorial things. I, I, I've never looked at those. I, when I say I've never looked at them, I can't do them. You know, it's tabulation and all that. I can't follow that. But you know some guitarists can can cope with that, and it's one of the, so it's one of those songs that that became a bit um, a bit famous among guitarists. And I've lost you by now, haven't I? So this is Willie Brown's um, Mississippi Blues. down to the Delta where I can have my fun I'm going down to the Delta where I can have my fun where I can drink white lightning and bring my baby home Delta to look lonesome when that evening sun goes down. Don't the Delta look lonesome when that evening sun goes down? Well, you've been looking for your baby, don't know where she can be found.
Sorry. <laughs> you know I'm going there. So that is my version of, of the famous Mississippi Blues. I say famous because I think a lot of guitarists rate that as one of the finest examples of, of um, solo uh, Delta Blues guitar playing. But it's in a very different style to people like Sam House and um, Robert Johnson and a very different style to the original or the Willie Brown who first recorded um, with, with those people. And Alan Lomax, as I say, confused everybody by... He actually wrote a note after he'd recorded this Willie Brown, who did work Mississippi Blues, saying, I believe this is the Willie Brown who, who um, I recorded earlier with Sunhouse. Well, I'm sure it wasn't. Anyway, there we are. That's, uh, that's his version of Mississippi Blues. And I was thinking about how he gets that wonderful sound. And I think he was trying to echo a piano sound because very much, I think, based on a, on a, on a piano a blues. Um, and I think that's that's why he capoed it so high. You know, he's he's playing guitar to to bring out those those beautiful high notes. Um, yeah, there we are, Mississippi Blues. And um, so I'm going to stick with with that um, that Willie Brown, if I may, because when I was he he only made I think four tunes, four recordings, um, and they weren't commercial recordings. As I say, they were field recordings for Alan Lomax. Although eventually, of course, they sneaked out on commercial records. Whether he got paid anything or much for that, I don't know. Um, but one of the things he did was a, was a nice version of uh, "Make Me a, Make Me Down a Pallet on Your Floor." Um, yeah, Richard says Stefan Grossman does a good version. Well, yeah, I think it was Stefan Grossman who really brought that that tune out into into the sort of guitar playing fraternity. You know, lots of blues guitarists wanted to play it because Stefan Grossman could do it. And I think people sort of forgot that there's a song there because Stefan Grossman didn't sing it, I don't think. And most guitarists seem to do that without singing any of the words. Anyway, Make Me a Pallet on Your Floor, which was this tune. Who was this by originally? Come on. It's stupid that I can't tell you because we all know Willie. <laughs> anyway, doesn't matter. But Will, but this Willie Brown's version was, was quite distinctive. So I'm going to try and do it a bit like Willie Brown. You see, Rolly there, hi to Rolly Brown. You see, Rolly's a good guitarist, or a great guitarist, and he says Stefan does it in standard tuning. I don't think that Willie Brown did it in standard tuning. I think he did it like me, in open G, with the capo up high on uh, the fifth fret. I'm pretty sure, but I shouldn't argue with an authority like Stefan Grossman, should I? Uh, now, make me a pallet on your floor. This is the way Willie Brown did it. Beautiful, beautiful song. I heard Bunny Barnes do a nice version of this recently. Mississippi John Hurt, wasn't it? <laughs> it's that strong, isn't it? <laughs> what am I trying to say? Oh, come on, just get on with it. going to do i'm going to put the capo up because again willie brown in 1940 or 42 or whatever he used the capo really high so apologies everybody i'm now going to do this properly 
with the capo even higher. Okay. Make me down a pilot on your floor. Make me down a pilot on your floor. Make me a pilot. Make it soft and low so you man. I'm back and shoulders sore The way I'm sleeping My back and shoulders sore Well, the way I'm sleeping You know my back and shoulders sore Gonna turn over and try it on the other side Just a worry off my mind Well, I'm going away Just to worry you off my mind Well, I'm going, going away Just to worry you off my mind You keep me worried and troubled You're certainly right that Jelly Roll Milton did it. So there we are. So I was getting very much getting into this, um, into Willie Brown, um, Mississippi Blues, and his version of Make Me a Pallet on the Floor. So there's just one little snatch of a thing I'm going to do you now. Um, at that same session, he did um, his version of um, uh, Broken Hungry, Ragged and Dirty 2, which was a um, Sleepy John Estes song. 
and again, he capoed it really high to get that, that beautiful high sound, almost like a, a mandolin. And actually, of course, on, um, well, I say of course, I don't know if some of you realise that Sleepy John Estes used to play with uh, Yank Rochelle playing the mandolin. So on those Sleepy John Estes records, you often hear those very high chiming notes coming through from Yank Rochelle. Anyway, but this is um, my version of um, Ragged and Dirty, but drawing drawing from Willie Brown. After this, I'll stop talking about Willie Brown. How did he do this? section dedicated to, and I'm not going to say his name again, um, 10 o'clock on my watch. Uh, what will I do now? Dave Mason talking about going to his first concert for a while to see um, Scotland John Goldie. All right, I, I don't. I'm sorry, that's a new name to me, um, but enjoy that. Steve Capes. I heard Jade Jackson do "Good Time Gone." Uh, I don't know that. I'm afraid. Good time gone. Okay. So there we are. Um, I think I'll do a version of "Worried Life Blues." This, this is a song that um, has been knocking around for a long, long time since Sleepy John Estes again, actually. Um, he probably did the original called Someday Baby. And then uh, Big Maceo Merriweather did, did a quite a hit version of it. Um, he was a pianist. So I'm going to do this closer to perhaps Maceo's version. <laughs> Someday, baby, you won't worry my life anymore. You're on my mind every place I go. How much I love you, you'll never know. 
But someday, baby You won't worry my life anymore Do you remember, baby When you lay down across my bed You were drinking white lightning Talking all out your head But someday worry my life anymore story that's all I gotta say to you bye bye baby I don't care what you do cause someday you won't worry my life anymore Hi to Steve Tolton. Um, uh, I'll do one more on this guitar, which is an open G. I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, something upbeat. Um, okay. City working for the man both night and day, but I never lost one minute of sleep, worrying about the way things might have been.
right. Um, yeah, I, after some of that um, old Mississippi stuff, I thought I'd better, better do something more up to date. That's one of my more modern songs. Prudence Clearwater Revival. Um, now, what am I going to do? I'm going to change guitars. And um, I noticed, Kathy, earlier, you, you said that Eddie wanted to hear something by uh, Scrapper Blackwell. And I've got... Not quite sure I can fulfil that tonight. Um, so what I'm going to do... I, Scrapper Blackwell was a wonderful guitarist, and I, I wish I did know, do more of his stuff. Um, but in the meantime, uh, what I will do, Kathy, as a consolation prize for you, because Kathy and Eddie are, 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 are wonderful supporters of my music. They come to um, they came to the gig I did last week uh, with West Western at Lee Community Centre. But they come to so many of my gigs. Um, anyway, so what I'll do, Kathy, is play uh, "Ain't No Love in the Heart of the City." But because I've done this a few times on various, you know, on my live streams, um, and it's on my CD, I'm going to do it differently tonight. Differently in the, I'll do it to, in a different tuning. This will be in open, no, this will be in standard tuning. That's right, standard tuning. And that's what this is. And um, so it'll sound totally different, well, to me anyway. <laughs> City, uh, which was originally a, um, a great Bobby Bland record. Um, hi to Susie. Glenn, hello Glenn. I'll say if you, yeah, hello Glenn, you're having trouble with something or other on Facebook, I see. Um, uh, if I haven't said hello to Dave yet, hello Dave. Um, Terry, hello Terry. Um, yep, I've caught most of you, I think. Stacy, hello Stacy. Thanks for joining me, all you you lovely people. Um, Kaiser, uh, yep, it's it's the regulars, and I really do love this. Um, but you know, if you think I, some of you may be thinking, I've got to, I've got to tune into Martin's thing because he'll be upset otherwise. I, I mean, I would if nobody tuned in. I, I, I honestly, I would be upset, but no. Don't feel you've got to, please. Don't feel you're doing it just... just. It is therapy for me, obviously. Um, but don't feel you've got to do this every week. I, I really appreciate it, though. Um, hi, Veronica. And um, what am I doing? Ain't no love in the heart of the city. I must tell you that I'm doing a gig next week uh, in um, a Sunday. I'm doing a gig on Sunday. In Stevenage. It's at the Blues, Blues at the Red, which is at the Red Lion... Is in the high street in Stevenage. Um, they put on blues there every Sunday night. Uh, I don't. I, I've never been there before, so really looking forward to it. Um, that's um, blues at the Red Stevenage Red Lion Sunday evening. Okay. <laughs> Ain't no love Cause you're not around Ain't no love In the heart of the city Ain't no love In the heart of town There ain't no love Sure is a pity Young heart. I saw us doing it differently tonight. I didn't mean to I'll do it wrongly. Ain't no love when you're not around. When you were mine, I was feeling so good. Cause you love lit up this whole neighborhood. 
but now you're gone. You know the sun don't shine from the city home to the county line. Ain't no love. Every place I go, well, it seems so strange. Without you there, you know things are changed. The nights are cold and there's a blanket of gloom. Another teardrop falls in my lonely room. Ain't no love in the heart of the city. Ain't no love in the heart of town Ain't no love and it sure is a pity Ain't no love and you're not around Ain't no love in the heart of the city Ain't no love in the heart of town Ain't no love And it sure is a pity Ain't no love Well, there ain't no love If you're not around Well, there we are. That's a slightly different way of doing Ain't No Love in the Heart of the City. I'm going to go back the other way next time. Um, and that is on my record, if anyone wants to get hold of a copy of that. Um, this is one I haven't done for a little while, I think. Um, going up the country, going to paint my mailbox blue, which is a Taj Mahal song. I know that a few of you are fans of uh, Taj Mahal. I certainly am. Um... Well, I'm going up the country Paint my mailbox blue I'm going up the country Paint my mailbox blue Put some flowers on it Trailing vines and dew Come here, baby let me take you by the hand Let me take you by the hand You can be my woman I'll be your city boy country man Well I'm going up the country Paint my mailbox blue Paint my mailbox blue Paint some flowers on it Trim vines and dew Well, 
Well, good morning, Miss Brown. How do you do? Good morning, Miss Brown. Tell me, Mama, how do you do? Well, I'm feeling fine and looking good. But tell me, how about you? She said, I got the misery in the back, eh? And my feet hurt me when I walk. I got the misery and the backache. And my feet hurt me when I talk. Feet hurt me when I walk. <laughs> because too much conversation hurts my tongue to talk. Well, I'm going up the country, paint my mailbox blue. I'm going up the country, paint my mailbox blue. Put some flowers on it, trailing vines and country paint my mailbox blue I'm sitting here thinking there was a request I was determined to do this week and then I forgot I'll come back to that Steve you asked me Steve Steve you asked me to do ain't no sunshine right I've got room for just two short numbers haven't I I'll do ain't no sunshine after this one which is a tune that um, I, I really wasn't it's it, G baby ain't no good, good to you um, people like Nat King Cole have done this wonderfully of course um, and um, it, it, uh, it came into my repertoire when I was playing with, with Ruby Florence um, and she sings a lot better than I do but there we are she's not in the room tonight
makes me treat you the way that I do? Gee, baby, ain't I good to you? There's nothing in the world too good for a girl so good and true. Gee, baby, ain't I good to you? I bought you a <laughs> coat for Christmas and a diamond ring. Cadillac car and everything. Love makes me treat you the way that I do. Gee, baby, ain't I good to you? Gee, baby, ain't I good to you? G baby Ain't I good to you A short and sweet but well they might sweet the short version of G baby ain't I good to you because um that is a lovely song um but it a short version of that because I did promise to do Ain't No Sunshine for Steve Capes. Now I've got to see if I can remember that. And that will be the last song of the evening. I've got to change guitar for this. Now you'll, um, you'll let me off if I don't do all the I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know bits on this. Because obviously I can't do that. Oh, I've got to tune this up, haven't I now? This was tuned in the minor key so thank you very much for for tuning in thank you for stopping by if any of you are anywhere near Stevenage I'm playing at Stevenage on the, at the Blues at the Red on Sunday uh, in the evening half past eight or thereabouts I guess sunshine Steve Steve Capes asked for this and I thought well really that is a song I should do but um, I should be able to do and I had a quick quick listen to it the other day and I think, I think I've got it in my head but bear with me if it's not quite as you know it you wouldn't want me to play it exactly as you know it would you sunshine when she's gone Ain't no sunshine when she's gone As she's always gone too long Anytime she goes away Wonder this time <laughs> That's not quite right Ain't no 
sunshine when she's gone And she's always gone too long Anytime she goes away Thank you for tuning in. So the Thursday Blues Club wouldn't be the same without you. Um, hope you all have a good week. Um, see you here uh, next week. There's at least one week I can't do, I think, but next week I'm pretty sure I, I am here. Um, so, yeah, many thanks for tuning in. Stay safe. Thank you.